Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to talk about how I found inspiration to pick up my camera again during this pandemic. Now before we go there, I just want to say that I hope everyone is doing fine right now. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, this pandemic is still disturbing lives today. So wherever you are, I hope and I pray that you're doing fine. So I am here again to talk about how I found inspiration to shoot again despite the pandemic. Like everyone, I had a difficult time at first because of all the stress related to COVID-19. We've, we've all been there. We have to follow health and safety protocols um, when we procure our essentials, when we buy our groceries, um, traveling for work. Th there's just so much stress and everything that we do just has to go through so much thought and so much process. And so we had to focus on our essentials. That meant us setting aside the things that are not as important. And shooting film or shooting photographs just became something that wasn't practical at this time. But then through the pandemic and all the community quarantines that had passed over the months, I realized how important um, these months, these weeks really were. Just simply because I was spending so much more time with my family. What could be more sweeter and more important than that, right? Inspiration was right in front of me and I did not even notice it. That was when I realized that shooting photos isn't really something that I should set aside. So after slapping myself on the wrist and realizing um, these things and after a huge slap on the face by my wife because she bought me rolls of film for my birthday. So I started observing my family's day-to-day -day tasks to find those um, moments that I felt that had to be preserved during this pandemic. And I simply just couldn't look any further because I have a beautiful wife and I have my baby girl who's growing up um, so fast. Please don't. And I observed their morning rituals and there I found beauty. There I found peace. Um, that's That was the one moment in my day where I found peace by watching them both every morning like five to ten minutes of peace before she leaves and for me that was an important moment okay before we go to the photos um i want to share with you a little background on the camera that i used so this one is uh, the mamiya 645j if you're not familiar with it it's a medium format camera my camera has the 80 millimeter um, 1.9 aperture uh, lens on it it's sort of a really cool lens but it's pretty heavy um, uh, it shoots 15 shots of 120 film and it shoots the 6 by 4.5 format which hence the 645 um, name for it this camera is Anna's wedding gift to me a little background story on that this camera is the camera that I used to take the first my first ever photo of Anna after our wedding so during 2019 um, I use this camera for collaborations and portrait shoots. Uh, nothing for professional work because uh, I, I use my digital gear for that. But over the past few months, this camera has been collecting dust. Um, like going around the room in my bag, in, in the drawer, in the cabinets. Simply because I just didn't have any reason to use it. Hence the making of this video. Okay, so let's jump right into it. These are the photos that I made um, during that one roll of Ilford Delta 3200 um, of my wife and Sophie, our lovely daughter. So this photo right here, this is a photo of Sophie um, lying down. And during this time, I don't, I don't think she was still able to sit up straight for a long period of time. So she would just lie down and look at her hanging toys and her dinosaur. Um, she loves it. She loves lying down and watching that thing go around with music. So I took this photo because I just love to see the innocence in her eyes as she watches her toys. Now this is a photo of Anna when she just woke up that morning. She does this every time. She looks at her phone. She checks if um, there would be any advice for her to stay home or go to work because at this time I think it was the, 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 the situation when work from home um, started and so they had this flexible uh, situation where she comes in in a few days only and she doesn't have to work for the next few days and etc etc so yeah every morning she does this checks her phone 
messages uh, the people who are concerned. I like this photo because it's so genuine. I see her looking through her phone, um, her gestures showing that the true um, worried mother that she really is. And I had to preserve this moment. Now, by the way, exposing this photo, I use only my phone uh, as the light meet, uh, as my light meter using the Lux app. I'll flash it on the screen or I'll put it in the description so you guys would know what kind of application I use for metering my shots. Now, this is a photo of Anna just taking a shower. I just really wanted to take a photo of this because, you know, during this time we have to sanitize ourselves and we never thought that we would be this careful of how clean we were every time we come in contact with our baby Sophie. So yeah, this is uh, this is the time when she was taking a bath right before going to work. So in this photo, I, I shot waist level. As you can see in this camera, it has a waist level viewfinder where um, you're supposed to put the camera on, on your chest or down your waist and look from the top of the camera. So it, it gives a pretty interesting perspective, just like this one. This photo I love so much um, just because this is the, like, we, we consider this the ultimate bond between Sophie and her mom. I really wanted to take a photo of them and I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this shot turned out. Uh, I, I focused on Sophie's foot and just let everything fall off from behind and in front. And this is just a really, really sweet moment. I, I love this photo so much. Oh, by the way. I noticed uh, these photos came out a little gritty. I am not really sure if it's because of how I handled the film. Maybe it's my fault. Or is it because of the developing process that went through it? If if you know anything about or if you've seen anything like this, please comment below or message me on what you think might have caused this. But actually, it doesn't really bother me. Um, I'm still happy with how things turned out. I really like this effect. Um, this grainy and gritty effect just adds to the flavor and adds to the effect of the situation at hand or at the moment. This next photo is a photo of, um, still, a photo of my wife who I'm dressing up and preparing for work. She has this moment where before she puts on her clothes, everything, she stops and pauses and just looks out and prays that the day would turn out okay. Because at that time, you know, nobody really knew what to expect when they go out for work. Anna works in the medical field, so risk is really part of her job. And this moment is just so, I don't know, It's just it just hits me hard when I see her like this. And I just had to capture it. This one's a photo of me and Sophie uh, in the mirror. Um, well, during the day, uh, I spend most of the time... Um, on my computer doing my online work so because I work from home um, and there are moments in the day where Sophie would just where, where Sophie would just cling on me you know just shouldn't she just doesn't want to go away from me so this is one of those days and she just looks at me through the mirror and just stares at me like that it's the cutest thing and I just had to take a photo of that um, this still happens uh, right now. It's really cute. I, I love uh, this moment when me and Sophie just stares at the mirror and stares at each other. So I'm happy I was able to take a photo of this. And this one's a photo of um, Sophie while breastfeeding. Um, you'll notice that the photo is blurred just because I shot this, I think, at the 1 160th of a second. Uh, it was pretty dark in our room, but luckily um, Delta 3200 handled it. Okay, um, this is exactly, actually, exactly what I was expecting. A, a certain amount of blur with really dark, dark tones and soft light tones. Now here's a really cute photo of Sophie. I, you know what, I, I waited for like 20 minutes staring at her like this, waiting for her to touch her toes because this was the time when she was, she learned to do that. Um, I was actually waiting for her to bite her toes, but it just wouldn't happen. So I took this one. Uh, is, you see, moments like this need to be captured. For me, her her milestones are really important. Um, for me and Anna, actually. So I'm really happy with how this photo turned out. Now, this one's a photo of Sophie's crib with a stethoscope. 
hanging on the edge. Uh, this is just a reminder of how serious it is to raise a child. And during this time, it's really that important for parents to focus 100% on their child, especially if it's a young, young baby. Okay, so yeah, this, this photo is just to remind me of that. So that was it. Um, those were the photos that I made. Well, those were the favorite ones uh, I picked out from the from the, from this batch of photos. You can tell it's not really perfect. Um, again, I said I may have mishandled the film, or maybe the developing process wasn't perfect. I I don't care really. I frankly do not care because I've made photos of my wife and my child, my baby, and. Nothing can replace that. You know, you have something physical in your hand and it's a real photograph. It's not digital. There's really something about that that makes it even more special. Trust me, these moments, they'll never happen again. And that is the real beauty of shooting film. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This video, again, is supposed to inspire you. So I hope I did. Uh, yeah, just, just grab your cameras, okay? Take photos of those important moments because they won't happen again.